One. To determine the subpubic angle, situate the protractor so that the black dot is in the middle of the pubic synthesis. Align the zero base sign with the left ramus of the ischium and read the number where the right ramus aligns. Record your result in the data table. It's 92 degrees. Call caliper to measure pubis body width. Start at the middle of the outer edge near the arbiter rater form or measure to the middle of the edge that connects to the pubic synthesis. Be sure to read the outside scale. Greater sciatic notch, place the pelvis posterior side down and turn it so the greater sciatic notch is flat against the sheet of paper. Trace the angle of the notch onto the paper. Use a straight edge to extend the lines until they meet to form an angle. Use a protractor to measure the angle you have just drawn. The greater sciatic notch. Place the pelvis posterior side down and turn it so that the greater sciatic notch is flat against the sheet of paper. Trace the angle of the notch onto the paper. Use a straight edge to extend the lines until they meet to form an angle. Use a protractor to measure the angle you have just drawn. Hold the pelvis at eye level to where the pubic symphysis is facing downward and parallel to the floor. Record whether the opening in the pelvis is circular or wide, showing just the cossacks, or more heart-shaped, showing a portion of the sacrum along with the cossacks.